get ready for Mikey Sun TV. Four, three, two, one, zero. Hey guys, what's going on? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, I got another package in today that I ordered just a couple days ago. Good old UPS came through. It actually got here a lot sooner than what it said initially. So initially it was like the first week or so in April it was supposed to get here. But I checked last night and it was in Knoxville and then this morning, hey, shows up just now. So, here it is. Here it is. Let's open this up. Let's try not to give away my address. I don't need people sending me all kinds of stuff, right? Or do I? I wouldn't turn it down if you wanted to send me something amazing. I wouldn't turn it down. Come on now. Well, uh, as I could tell, whenever I was, whenever I first took the, whenever I first took the package from the guy, uh, you can tell it it wasn't in like a product box. It's just boxed in this. What is it, Mike? Well, it's new dumbbell handles. Let me get both of them out. hopes that they're both good. I got a little concern already about this one. I don't know if that's supposed to be loose or not. But let's take a look. They feel pretty solid. And the best case would be, you know, why are these things, you know, why can't we get dumbbell handles that are all molded out of one piece of metal, you know, machined? Well, I don't know if that costs more money or not, but typically, but a lot of times your dumbbell handles are going to be in three pieces. Like a handle, and then this piece, and this piece, and they're stuck together somehow, or, or maybe this piece is all one piece and the handle is stuck on there. I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend that I know. But, yeah, these are pretty good size handles here. That's nice and heavy. Feels like heavy quality. I like that this has a little lock screw on there so you can, not only you screw it on and it's secure, but you can screw that down and it locks it on. So that's pretty cool. Like this part here is not supposed to be loose that I'm aware of. And that's on bass backwards. My bad. My bad. So these are where you can fit uh, a couple more plates on. Make sure I put that back. Now I believe that these were supposed to be new. Uh, I'm not sure if they're new. But of course it's got the little washer on there. It kind of helps quiet things and hold things. But I feel like that is supposed to be probably attached. Or at least compressed onto there or something. I don't really remember those ever being loose. So that I'm not, not a huge deal. I mean once you put the plates on it's going to be held in the, in the place. But just kind of a eh, little nitpick. And the other one. Now, of course, these kind of dumbbells are not the exact kind that I wanted. I wanted to be able to afford all the hex dumbbells that I wanted. 
they're just a lot cleaner, a lot stronger, a little, you know, easier to deal with. You don't have to mess with taking plates off and on and off and on and off and on and off and on. But in this day and age where everything's hard to get, uh, everybody's buying everything up and the prices are jacked up 10 times what they should be. So, hey, I, I kind of had to get what I had to get. So, it's all good. Now this in here is just nice and nice and tight. Nice and right and tight. So let me get let me get my other handles here. Now these on this one don't have the little locking pin. That's okay. It's a uh, kind of a nice uh, touch though. <clears throat> I'm using the uh, GoPro app on my phone and it's pretty cool. I'm just not sure why it doesn't it doesn't give you a a live a live feed video you know while you're videoing it gives you it gives you a live feed before you hit the the record button but uh, once you start recording it doesn't give you the the live feed video so here's the difference guys of course I picked the one up that's kind of goofy I guess I'm all right with that I ain't gonna complain even though they were kind of expensive so here you go. I got the handles lined up. So you can see that one's a good probably inch or so, inch and a half or so longer. And that is to add uh, more plates. Now as far as tens go, that's mostly what you're going to use on these things. Tens or fives. You're not going to use 25s and stuff like that um, As far as 10 plates uh, 10 pound plates go you can only get like four on here um, let's See One two three four. Yeah, this is roughly This is roughly four inches long and each of these 10 pound plates are an inch wide so you get roughly four with enough room to screw on the locking ring. So these here, I believe you can get upwards of uh, six on each side. I would try it, but I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to hold that much weight in my hand <laughs> right now. But uh, I believe on each side of this, you can get upwards of six. Now I'm only looking to get five. I don't need. To do uh, over 100 pounds but of course with the uh, weight of the bar that's probably I don't know probably a three pound bar I don't know uh, maybe not that much but maybe somewhere around three pounds I'd say especially once you get the collars back on you know you're up over 100 pounds anyways so uh, we'll see how these do um, right now I don't have uh, enough plates or do I yeah I got enough plates I can at least do one uh, but I have I have four more of those tens uh, that'll that I'm gonna get uh, pretty soon I had my niece uh, go by the store she was nice enough to go by the store up in Gallatin Tennessee and uh, they just so happened to have uh, four or five or six more of those plates and so she went and got four more of them so I have you know a whole 20 of them that match so that's pretty cool uh, so I'll be able to have two dumbbells set up at 100 pounds. So that's pretty cool. We'll give these a shot later on. I'll stick uh, five plates on each side and see how it works. I can at least do like a, you know, a, a, just a little test as far as how it feels and, and all that. So that's pretty cool. They were, the handles themselves were kind of expensive, to be honest. They were like $40 for the pair. That's kind of expensive, but... 
you know, it is what it is whenever you want to have uh, longer uh, dumbbell handles. These here, I think, were $20 for the pair. And uh, as far as quality, uh, they look like the same kind of quality. They both feel very heavy and, uh, you know, robust. I'm, you know, this one, of course, is a little bit heavier because it's longer, but they're, they're pretty close. And, uh, yeah. And I've used these a couple of times now and they do good. So I'm, I have, uh, good hopes for these. So yeah, anyway, guys, we'll, uh, we'll do a little test on those probably, uh, later today. So anyway, that's my, uh, little box on opening for today. I'll put a link to the, the product in the description. Uh, and uh, you can check them out for yourself. All right. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Check out the playlist. Check out the video section, whatever. In the playlist, you're going to find pretty much everything. In the video section, you might find a few videos here and there that aren't in a playlist. But uh, yeah. Anyway, also check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only. I'm not as active on that channel, but. About once a week, I'll live stream a video game, and uh, you can join in the conversation, and uh, you can even join in a game if it's a multiplayer type game or whatever, and we'll hook up and enjoy ourselves. That's what that channel's for, is just video games and having fun. All right? Don't forget, guys. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. And we'll see you later on Mikey's and TV. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!